some crazy festival. But it's in the very shallow water, so we can make a good copy of it. Now, uh, yeah, you're not eating, so I can tell you a dirty story. Um, about 300 men fit on a ship like this. They were gone six to nine months. They didn't bring toilet paper for everyone. There's a rope climbing in the water there in front of the boat. Yeah. The rope is called an every man's end. Yes, it is. I'm not going to explain. So the Amsterdam is part of the Maritime Museum, the big white building you see behind it. It wasn't always a museum, of course, it used to be the largest warehouse of the city, directly connected to the sea back in the days. It held all the weaponry, so guns and things for ships like this. And this was a very common sight, eh? the ships laying next to the Maritime Museum. Oh, here on the back, thank you, Patrick. How you can see the back, this is called the mirror, the most luxurious part of the ship, the captain's residence. On the left, we see the god of the trade, Mercury. On the right, the god of the sea, Poseidon. The chicken next to Mercury stands for good luck. Chickens are trading for good luck. Unlike chicks, of course, then, ladies, girls, were not allowed on board, not per se because they were bad luck before, because the men wouldn't work. So the Amsterdam and the De Maritime Museum. Yeah. You can, you can win. 